Howdy everyone, Cub here. Welcome back to Snapshot 16W35A. And we got a couple changes this week, including a lot of bug fixes, so let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, we have a change to Enderman. You can now splash them with splash water bottles, and they're going to take one point of damage for each water bottle they are hit with. There are also a bunch of bug fixes this week, one of which is the placement of trapdoors next to redstone blocks and redstone uh, powered blocks. So before you'd place them and the trapdoors would all place, you know, down like this, as you'd expect. And they wouldn't update even when placed next to a redstone block or other power source. But now, if I go ahead and place this down, you'll see, yeah, it actually is placed down in the open state. So it updates pretty much instantly to a point where it is powered. So that is an interesting change there. Another annoying bug that was fixed that I've personally experienced in the game is the trampling farmland glitch. So whenever you trample farmland in Minecraft 1.10, because the farmland is slightly lower in height than the full block, you will actually glitch into the block and you then have to break the block beneath you or ender pearl out. But in Minecraft 1.11 we now have that fixed so that you can see uh, whenever you trample crops or farmland you will no longer glitch into the block. Another slight bug fix this week is that carpets have been slightly buffed. This is due to the fact that two wool can be crafted into three carpet and previously three carpet did not smelt one item but now as you'll see Two wool and three carpet will now smelt up exactly one ore. And we'll just see that right there and right there. So now they're even and all is good. At long last, we can finally name saddled pigs. Also new this snapshot, as you can see here, shields will now block 100% of incoming melee damage instead of just 66%. So this guy cannot harm me as long as my shield is up. And so shields have also changed so that when zombies attack you when they're on fire, they will no longer light you on fire. So I'll just show you that here. This guy tries to come and attack me. He used to be able to set me on fire while he was attacking me, but now the shield prevents uh, yeah, being set on fire as well. There was also a change to terrain generation this snapshot in that Mesa Bryce biomes used to have some stone that generated above sea level. So like this, for instance, here would all be stone and you could see it and it would be nasty but now as you can tell Mesa Bryce biomes no longer generate with stone visible at the surface so it looks a lot better a lot cleaner and a lot more realistic Minecraft banners will now also retain their name when placed down in the world so if I go ahead and name this let's say evil creeper banner just like that and I go ahead and place it down See, nothing changes obviously here, but when I break it and get it back, it's still named Evil Creeper Banner. So that is pretty significant and that tile entities can now have names that remain uh, even when they're placed down and then broken again. And this also applies to things such as chests. So here I have a chest named Cub's Chest. If I go ahead and place this down, you'll see it says Cub's Chest right here. And if I go ahead and punch it and pick it back up, You'll see it won't stack with the other chest in my inventory. It is still named Cub's Chest. There's also a really useful bug fix this week in that hopper timings are no longer dependent on the game tick they're activated in. So for instance, this setup here I have to demonstrate this. I have one item in this dropper. When I hit this button, this item will then go into this hopper. And that will basically activate this command, which says this will output a consistent number of times if the bug was fixed, uh, which it should. It should output exactly seven times, and then this will basically be like a line break. And before, whenever we activated this, we would have between four and seven times that this command block would activate. But now you'll see, if I activate it once here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven activations before the item is transferred from the hopper back to the dropper, and then the line break. And if I do it again... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the bug that had to do with hopper timings is now fixed. Fantastic. Eyes of Ender will now block offhand item usage, so they're much easier to use than before. Wells and desert villages also have been changed, so they used to generate with cobblestone around the well, but now there is sandstone around it. And of course, there were a few other minor changes in this week's snapshot, but that is all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.